There's a wonderful quote from George Small, the owner of Impala Ranch, when he looked out over Impala and said, how can one man own all of this? And he said, I want this property to do something for Kenya. So in 1994, we started building the Impala Research Center. Impala is a wildlife conservancy and working cattle ranch and a world-class ecological research center. We have herds of camels, sheep and goats that can be used to understand how they live with wildlife. Our mission here is to look at how humans and wildlife can live together sustainably. Impala sits in the heart of Lycopia County and we're surrounded by other private properties as well as pastoralist communities. And this is one of the really cool things about Impala. It is private property. It's used by researchers as a living laboratory. We are looking at the demographic changes in the population of elephants. The number of elephants we've recorded so far at Mpala stands at 1,500. We study just about everything there is to study about zebras. The Grevy zebra is an endangered species. And one of the more simple questions we ask, but one of the more important ones, is how many are there? Recap Social Weaver has very complex social interaction. And so we want to understand like what's the underlying mechanism for them to survive in this savanna system. Historically, you're looking at conservation in Africa as conservation by exclusion. We have the wildlife in one place, we have the people in another. But Lycippe is mostly private land. So people and wildlife are finding ways to coexist. As far as I know, Lycopia is unique in the world in that we have very active livestock producing ranches who encourage large carnivores as well as all the wildlife they depend on. Before, we were just ranchers. We keep cattle, goats, sheep, and camels. A lion coming to the boma kills an animal. I mean, you can't stand there and, and wash. We used to kill them. But today it's totally different because we've just diversified into conservation setting up tourism facilities so that we can have many tourists coming to Kenya. We have our own primary school on Impala. One of our most important outreach activities is our Northern Kenya Conservation Clubs. And that takes kids from now 11 schools in the communities into nature. Education comes in to teach people about forests, to teach people about wildlife, to teach about water. Before, people had negative attitude towards wildlife because what people knew is that this is a wildlife that comes to their land, that destroys their crops, that kills people. So as an educator, it's quite challenging, but we are able to take these kids to the conservancies. They interact with wildlife and the attitudes have really changed. As far as the webcam goes, we want the school children of Kenya and those in the United States to be able to experience what goes on at our hippo pool. We're really hoping to see what the world learns from it. <laughs> the idea behind the Impala Live project was to get people excited about the animals by seeing, the, seeing them live, to try and uh, explain to people about the larger conservation message that's happening here. This is the main repeater tower. This tower has line of sight to the hippo pool and to the Impala Primary School. Where we've installed electricity and a couple of computers and allows the children to not only monitor the activity at the hippo pool, but to connect with children in other schools and to participate in conservation curriculum that we've created around this project. 
It gives me great joy to listen to someone that has gone through our primary school, gone through the conservation clubs, and they are full out wildlife conservationists. I had some lions that came into my property. And uh, I got an email from Impala Research Center and I could get from the Google map and I could locate where these um, lions were in my property. So when you, th you have that kind of a system, it is really something that can work. You're creating awareness. While wildlife in the rest of Kenya has been significantly and seriously declining over the last two decades, Laikipia County is actually higher in number than when we first started monitoring in the early 80s. So we're bucking the national trends there.